Karen, the content and brand manager at the Center for Sexual Pleasure and Health, and I'm here to bring you a big announcement. One of the questions we're asked most frequently at the Center, or when we're out and about, is, where can I buy this thing? Starting on December 1st, the answer to that question might be on our website. Megan and the CSPH staff have selected a few items that people express the most interest in to be available for purchase through the CSPH.org. Before we put the store up, I wanted to field some of the questions that came up for the staff during the process to give you more information on our new venture. Number one, how does this work with the mission and values of the Center for Sexual Pleasure and Health? The CSPH mission is to reduce sexual shame, challenge misinformation, and to elevate the field of sexuality. One of the ways we do this is to provide information on a range of topics, including sexual enhancement devices. A lot of the people who ask about sexual enhancement devices want to know where they can purchase them. Some will ask about brick and mortar stores, but more often as of late, people have been asking where to find a reputable online retailer. We recognize that going into a sex shop can be daunting for some people and hope to create a space where people who are familiar with and trust the CSPH can find the items we have recommended. Question number two, how can you be a nonprofit and still sell things? The money brought in from items sold in our store goes back into the CSPH operations budget. Our operations budget covers the little things like the rent, the internet, and staffing costs, as well as funding all of our outreach and educational initiative, items provided for the public like our stickers and pamphlets, and providing the support needed to keep our resources available online and continue our internship program. Question number three. Does this mean you're only going to talk about the items in the store when tabling or giving tours? No. We've selected the items that people show the most interest in to carry in our store. However, there's no way for us to carry every item we talk about or that everyone expresses interest in. It would be severely limiting to the mission of our organization to only ever talk about things that we carry in the store. Question number four. How do I know you're giving unbiased information? The information we give is based on the individual or individuals asking the question. Whether or not an item is carried in our store, we will continue to provide information about the benefits and pitfalls of that particular item for that particular person or people. It is important to us at the CSPH that every person asking for advice is armed with the information they need to make the best choice for them. Question number five, how did you choose what to include in the store? The center staff wanted to focus on the items that people express the most interest in when we're out in the community or when they come into the center, items that are body safe, and items that we have laid our hands on and reviewed. We wanted to start with a small group of items that we have a high opinion of that people have also expressed a lot of interest in. While we may expand in the future, Right now, careful curation of items is more important to us than the variety and expanse of products available in the store. Question number six. So, are you a sex shop now? Kind of. Our base mission and focus continue to be on education and advocacy. We are making the store available as an additional resource for people who want to purchase sexual enhancement devices and support our organization. Question number seven. Is this tax deductible? I'm going to summarize this into the short answer and the long answer. So the short answer is no. The longer answer is that items purchased from a 501c3 organization can be tax deductible, but only the portion of the purchase price over fair market value can be deducted from one's taxes. As our items are currently priced at fair market value, there isn't really an option for deduction based on your purchases in the store. However, if you were interested in making a donation in addition to your purchase, that amount would be deductible. Once again, I'm Erin, the content and brand manager at the Center for Sexual Pleasure and Health. I have been really excited to bring you this information, and I hope that you will be as excited to make a purchase from our store. So keep an eye on the CSPH.org, our Facebook, and our Twitter. For some follow-up information, 
and a really big announcement about a contest leading up to the opening of our store on December 1st. If you have any questions, you can email us at info at thecsph.org. Thank you everybody for supporting us. Thank you.